Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Actors Area Podcast. I am your host, Sean Grant, usually coming to you in the morning. Now I'm coming to you in the afternoon. Had a busy morning uh, earlier, so, but all in all, still get the opportunity to come and chat with you and share some of the insight that I feel like I've been receiving um, that I know in my heart will be able to help you immensely in your life. So um, with that being said, right into it. And I heard a great man once say, the purpose of life is to completely become the essence and authenticity of your true self. And if you're not necessarily, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Awakened spiritually, this can fly completely over your head. But I'm going to simplify it for you to the best way that I know how, in a sense, to help you to realize it. And not only realize it, but to use it in order to help you to create the most fulfilling life possible. And when I talk about success, I'm not always talking about financial success, which all of that is great, but I'm talking about fulfillment. I'm talking about being in a place to where you feel like you're challenged every day, you feel like you're progressing, you feel like you're doing things, you're, you're doing new things, you're um, becoming someone truly, truly, um, magnificent and you're leaving a great, great, um, effect on the world. So, uh, let's talk about that a little bit. How do you completely become yourself in this lifetime? How do you just completely embrace the inner, um, beauty, the inner magnificence that is you? Well, the first thing is you start with self-love. And if you've listened to our podcast before, like I said, I always like to kind of reiterate things. Um, one thing I started doing is basically just telling myself in the mirror every single morning, every time before I go to bed, no matter what has happened, how much I love myself and how much I truly love myself and am truly proud of who I am and who I've become. And it creates so much joy within because anybody can tell you they love you very much and they appreciate you but unless you feel it for yourself within it won't make a difference so it's important to know that in order to be completely become yourself you have to love yourself completely and as an actor this will open the pathway to so many different types of emotions and vulnerabilities that you can experience and this will separate you as a performer. This will separate you um, as it relates to your true essence of being someone who is absolutely relatable, approachable, and just able to connect with every human being possible. See that that's the beauty of becoming one of these amazing superstar, one of these amazing actors. And even in life, your ability to connect with people, your ability to, to, I like to call it to see people right in the eye and touch their souls and to have them immediately drawn to you. That charisma, that, that just personal power to be able to do that comes from, 155% of complete self-acceptance. And if you can do that, if you can do that, and it's not something that happens overnight, but it's something that will continue to get better as you work on it. If you can do that, you will woo a lot of audiences. You will woo a lot of people. You will become as lovable as possible Um in an infinite way. And that's, that's, that's humanity. Like, you know, when I used to coach relationships, the most, the biggest problem I had was people thinking that they or their partner had to be perfect, had to be, um, 
walking this tightrope line on eggshells as opposed to just accepting their imperfections because it would be boring if everybody was perfect. You know, nothing comes from perfection except making people feel insecure about themselves. But when we begin to accept um, imperfection as something that is the norm, God created us with everyone having an imperfection and multiple imperfections in order for us to know what it means to love people unconditionally. And we have to treat ourselves with that same type of love. And that, once again, opens up the beauty to humanity. And that's how, um, that's basically when we take that and we, we put it on ourselves, that is what helps us open ourselves up to that path of success that we're talking about here um, in uh, the topic of today's podcast. So, you know, take a look at everybody who's on top of their game, you know, and the first person or first person that comes to mind, and, and I'm a fan of him. Um, I think Will Smith, I think, uh, you know, um, Denzel Washington, I think, uh, you know, Meryl Streep, Helen Mirren. I think of all these great and wonderful and talented actors and actresses that can completely be themselves on camera. And if you've ever watched any movie where they were really, really, which is pretty much every film, but where they were really tied into these characters, it is truly amazing to see this person be so authentic, be so authentic. And I guarantee you, it comes from basically exposing yourself in such a way that you have absolutely nothing to hold back. There is nothing to hold back. There is nothing that you have that another human being has not seen. And if people act like they hadn't seen it, they're just putting on a front. You need to be proud of your struggles. You need to be proud of your mishaps. You need to be proud of the fact that you've experienced more things than most people have. Use that as your story. Use it as your screenplay. Like, allow your creative, expressive nature and your authenticity to come out and use it to inspire others to be better, but more importantly, to help them to want to be the same. And that is the essence of, of why we do what we do. That is why we become actors. That is why we write screenplays. That is why we perform on stage because we want to touch the souls of other people and inspire them to do the same once again. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm getting excited about this because it is ultimately the reason why I do this podcast, because I want to inspire you to be even more successful than you already are. I want to lift you up. I want you to know that it's okay that you cried last week. It's okay that you're upset because your income is not where it needs to be. It's okay that your girlfriend or your boyfriend left you. It's okay that you're, you're struggling because you feel like you should be further along in your life than you already are. It's okay that those circumstances, those occurrences are what make us marvelous, magnificent human beings. Those are the things that make us successful. Because you know why? We embrace it. We embrace it. And when, we, when you truly embrace something, what do you do? You feel the essence of it. Think about a hug. You go to hug somebody, you hug them. You, when you truly hug somebody, you feel the essence of who that person is. It's no different with these issues and with these problems and with these, these, these obstacles, so-called seemingly obstacles we face. You embrace them and you look to find the essence of what it means. You know what? Your girlfriend and boyfriend left you because your wife or your husband is getting ready to come into the picture. You lost that job because you're getting ready to run your own business. You didn't get that role because you're about to get a lead role in a commercial or a motion picture film or an indie film that's going to take off. So when we embrace the essence of all these issues, all these problems, we're basically just using them as stepping stones to continue to grow and to share but more importantly, to expand our greatness, to expand our level of being, right? Because 
as human beings, we often find that we forget the span of the universe. You know, a lot of times, and I do it too, I get caught up in my box, sitting in front of my laptop, in my living room. All I can see is the trees outside and the plants and whatever else is in, in the room. And I forget about that entire world, that entire universe out there that is working in my favor to make things happen that I may have had no idea could possibly unfold. But the truth of the matter is that they do unfold because the universe is just that infinite, amazing, working for us in our favor, creating conditions to help us to completely become ourselves. With that being said, guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being a part of this podcast. Um, I've always told myself, you know, it doesn't matter how many people play it. It doesn't matter how many people um, listen in. But if I can affect one person, one actor, whoever it may be, um, one individual and make their lives better, If I can do that with one episode, then I've succeeded because I know that this is something in my heart that I always need to share and I feel like it's my purpose to share it. So with that being said, I thank you for your support. I thank you for listening. You are so appreciated so very much and, you know, go out there and get what's yours and refuse to be cast down, refuse to give up, refuse to let anybody tell you you can't have the life that you want because I'm here to tell you you can have the life you want, you can have the career you want, you can have the success you want. All you got to do is remain true to yourself, stay in peace, follow your heart, and be relentless when it comes time to take inspired action, and you will be more successful than you could ever imagine. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful afternoon and evening. I We'll talk to you on tomorrow. This is Sean Grant. Thank you so much for joining us on the Actors Area. Take care.